Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a PDF using CamScanner. CamScanner is a powerful mobile app that allows you to uh, scan documents and convert them into PDF formats using smartphone and even PC. You can even use it in PC and I'll show you. So in this tutorial, we'll walk you through the process of creating uh, PDFs in CamScanner. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's just go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. In my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course, in your case, you can give, go and uh, use whatever browser you want. Of course, if you're using your phone, you can simply go and install the Cam Scanner application on your phone. If you want to, you can even go and use your PC like me, and if you're using your PC, go to the URL section, simply type Cam Scanner, dot com and hit the enter button that will take you directly to the home screen or main screen of cam scanner of course you can always scan the qr code here with your phone if you want to go and install it on your phone if you don't if you want to use it here on your pc you can e even go and install it here on your pc and you'll be able to use it on your pc if you don't even want to install it you can click here on this web version as an example and let's just wait for it until it's uh, load. And as you can see, you will have to go and log in into your account. If you have an account, simply go and log in into it. But if you don't, you'll have to go and create a new account, as example, by clicking on create a new account. Simply, you can use your phone number or email address to create an account. So let's just go and example and create our account here. Uh, as example, at gmail.com. And let's just set a password. Let's just do this as an example. And of course, uh, you will have to go and check on this option that I have read uh, the terms of service and even the privacy policy. Make sure to go and read them all so you'll work everything and you will not have any problem with them in the future as an example. Then click on next step. Once you click on next step, of course, you'll have to go and verify your email. They'll send you code to your email. So simply, I'm just going to my email at the moment. And I'll try to go and guess my code. As simple as that. Here is it. Click on verify email address. And normally it should be it. So let's just wait. And yeah, as you can see, congratulations, your account has been activated. So I don't even need a code. So simply I can even log in with my account with, as you can see, I'll have to simply type my uh, email here again. And click on sign in. And of course, I'll have to enter my password and click on now on sign in. And as you can see, they will sign me into my account. So now what we'll need to do, of course, as we said, we would like to create a PDF. So before there are some tools that we can use, as you can see, the PDF to Word, PDF to Excel, and a lot of things that we can use here as an example. So even if you want to create a PDF, you can simply go and click on upload. You can upload an image, upload a PDF or upload a PowerPoint if you want to create a new PDF. So let's just go as an example, upload an image. So I'm just going to upload this image. And as you can see, it's uploading right, right now. And once it's uploaded, uh, the PDF will be created. If you have like a PDF, if you want to uh, change it as you can see let's just show you here you can change your pdf as an example to word to excel to ppt to gbg or you can delete some pages from your pdf extract pa uh, pages you can merge pdf if you want to you can rotate the pdf you can sign it and uh, do the watermark and pdf password but those three options are just for the app so you'll have to go and download the app if you want to have it so for us at the moment if we click here as you can see we kind of created our pdf so we can add as many pages as we want or by click on this plus and we can add as many pictures uh, that we want or even pdf pages if we want to we can add it so for us i don't need to at um, the moment so here i'll be able to do uh, some things in example so i can do this recognize text as an example so it will click on recognize text as you can see the ocr uh, function can be used 10 uh, 1000 uh, or 100 sorry times a day the remaining usable uh, times 100 today to be continued click on confirm and as you can see the content is not identified please replace the document so as you can see there is no text at the moment here but it's not going to be a big problem so let's just check and it's still 100 even uh, because it did not work 
So you can even go and sign an example. You can click on create a signature. You can uh, go and add some handwriting things if you want to, or you can upload uh, something and an image if you want to. So for me, I'm just going to let a handwriting. I'm just going to do random stuff right here. Click on create and use. And as you can see, the signature will be right here it's not shown correctly because like the picture is overtaken and of course you can even go and click on manage your signatures you can delete this you can go and add another signature if you want to and that's it of course you can even go and add like a watermark if you want to as you can see here you can simply go and type whatever you want on this watermark change the color of it and even uh, change the transparency of it the size of it so it can be seen if you want to the if you want to have it like a payful or just a single line of course you can have it as a payful but if you have it as a payful make sure to go and decrease the transparency a bit so it will not affect the uh, pdf uh, too much and of course here you can go and add it to the all pages or just the current page here you'll be able to edit as you can see the changes you'll made so uh, just click on cancel click on save and of course click on save here so you'll have to wait until you it's saved and now once it's saved of course you'll have the option to go and add other stuff if you want so you'll be able to spin it if you want to to filter it to smudge it to text and of course to change it into word if you want to you can even convert up to 20 pages at a time. You can convert it to PPT if you want to. Uh, to ex of course, PPT is just PowerPoint. It's all like uh, Microsoft's uh, tools. So to Excel if you want to, and to PDF if you want to. So simply, we will have to simply choose one from one. Click on Convert, and we'll have to wait for the conversion is done. Click on Download, and we successfully like created our PDF on Cam Scanner. So we'll simply have to wait until this finish. It should not take a lot of time, especially if you didn't make a lot of uh, uh, changes on it. And as you can see, once it's done, you can simply click on download. And as you can see, it will be downloaded here. So it should be saved. Click on it. And as you can see, that's going to be our PDF using Camp Scanner. We created our PDF on using Camp Scanner. Of course, we can go as an example and even change the name of it. So I'm just going to type tests on it and click on this check option and go back confirm all the changes and as you can see we can even find it here we can always get it as a pdf or as a picture if you want to we can convert it into word into excel into whatever we want here on this camp scan so that's gonna be it for this video if you reach and sponsor this video, congratulations, you've learned how to create a PDF using Camp Scanner. Of course, this powerful app or tool uh, allows you to quickly and easily scan your documents and convert them into PDF formats using smartphone or even like your uh, PC if you have the documents or the picture on your PC. So whether you need to digital uh, digitize and uh, receipts, contracts, or any uh, other type of documents, Camp Scanner has got you covered. So thank you for watching and we hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one. And I will see you in the next video.